Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jakey here for another reaction and today I am reacting reacting to House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 1. Now, if you are interested, I did my House of the Dragon Season 1 reactions uh, there on the channel. It was just after I started the channel, uh, so it might be a little bit rough around the edges, guys. Uh, but thought I'd just let, let you know uh, they are there they if you are interested. Uh, we know where season two left off. Uh, we know that the the Targaryen civil war has begun. Uh, I mean, I'm just excited to just see the shit hit the fan. I'm excited to see the bloodthirst coming from each Targaryen. Not the not Alicent's. Uh, no, but listen, look at Alicent. Listen. Listen, I, I didn't realise Team Greens and Blacks was such a big thing. I'm getting distracted already, but I didn't realise it was such a big thing until what doing the reactions, and I realised people were Team Greens, Green, Blacks. And then when I did my act reactions to the traders, I was getting dislikes on certain things I was saying about the Greens. And I was like, so I guess if you're here, I'm a Team Black. But either way, everyone's getting slaughtered, guys. Like, <laughs> just, no need to dislike my videos. <laughs> everyone's dying. But, you know, it is what it is. But, um, but yeah, but I know that, listen, listen, with everything going on, with the death of a child that's sparking it all, I am desperate for to... Um, just to see Rha how Rhaenyra reacts to it, how um, how Damon reacts to it, really, really. And I'm interested to see Alison's children, who are bastards. Well, well the one that is now king... Um, um, I can't remember his name now. Is it Aegon? Is it Aegon? Anyway, uh, how one of that is now king, how he's going to react to how how much he's going to try and throw down the law, how the uh, the one-eyed monster <laughs> that is Matt Smith's long-lost child, how he's going to uh, how much of a shithead is he going to be now he pretty much started the war. Um some might say it's there before that, but still anyway. And I, I, listen, I, I'm going to, in this first episode, be tr remembering things as I go along. Because, again, it's I haven't watched a recap, which I maybe should have done. But I haven't watched a recap. Shut up, phone. And, uh, and yeah. And then I'll be, so I'm going to remember things as I'm going along. But I want to get back into this world of blood and gore and sex and tits and willies and stuff like that, you know? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. So yeah, so I'm excited, guys. Uh, I'm just uh, going to jump into this. So if you are here for this reaction, again, thank you for being here. Just to let you know, I am going to be... this. I'll, I'll only do this reaction because then I am away. Uh, for like, I think the, when the next two get released, I'm going to be away. Uh, so so it's going to be a long time in between the first reaction and then the second or third one being released. But I thought I'd let you know that's going to happen. Uh, but once I'm back, I'm back on the grind and I'll be released like that as quick as I can and then I'll be back on doing recordings week in week out just thought I'd let you know from the get go but I am going to jump into this guys so I hope I enjoyed this episode I hope you enjoyed this reaction and if you do drop a like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell that'll be super but other than that see you on the other side oh yeah is the audio going to change not audio sorry the intro it this definitely seems different to the first one Definitely. <laughs> it's cool. I really like the sort of like fabric looking uh, intro. It's such a good intro. To go for, to do this, this is so good. I love this man. Oh, nice. Like that. Like it. Love it. Always a bloody crow, isn't it? I wonder who's watching. All men of honor must pay its price. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. It is. The North owes a great duty to the Seven Kingdom. We have stood as guardians against the cold and the dark. Oh, you guys are getting me jacked up. Long tradition of doomed men who had their life as their only possession. Oh no way! Is that if you pick it, then you have to go to the nine night's watch? Began a tradition by making not a sentence, but an honor. It's a sentence. It's a sentence. 
God. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. What is this then that falls from the conqueror and the king in the north? <laughs> oh, if you're new to the channel, by the way, uh, this is a thing. Uh, if you. Yeah. Only tattoo I have, by the way. I, I got a drunk whilst on a, on a Greek island uh, many moons ago. Oof. About 10, nearly 10 years ago. And it's, yeah, so, just thought I'd show you. Have the mercy not to threaten you with your dragon. <laughs> That's true. Not all uh, the Targaryens uh, are nice, let's say. Starks do not forget their oaths. Yeah, it's true. You're all loyal men. No, that my and women. Torn between. The High Tower's plan to usurp the throne. If my mother is to defend her claim to hold the Rome united, she needs an army. War is coming. Yeah, it is. We're just coming and war is coming. Uh, how much of a gap do we think this is? Because he grown, you know? Um... Torrin Stark as well. Have we, um... Yeah, also... We don't trust the high terrors up in this household. And on this channel now. It's got everyone's welcome here. Blacks and greens are welcome. Uh, just... Uh, stop disliking me for this sort of thing for not liking the greens. Um, yeah, Torrin Stark. Is there stories or moments in which they're spoken about of Torrin Stark in... Probably, maybe quite a few people on it. Oh, no, I don't know. But of in... in, in, in Game of Thrones, uh, where this character's reference, or, 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 yeah, whether that's in passing or if it's like a statue or something. Yeah, please, thank you. Urgent news from Dragonstone. Uh oh. No, is this where we find out? Oh my God, it's literally just here. So there isn't. There's been no time passing. It's literally just happened. He was just doing this one. Oh shit, is that where season one finished? Where they had to go to, like go to different ones? Didn't they have to go to different... Yeah, wasn't it? Oh. He, he looks... He does look older. Take your mount again. We're flying out. Oh, here he is. Little sexy bastard. Patrol over a hunt. We're going to King's Landing. To what end? Oh. I cannot face that hoary old bitch. <laughs> With my dragon and hers to make it a son for a son. Oh, he's out for vengeance. He is out for vengeance. The mother grieves as the queen shirks her duties. Oh, Damon, have some compassion, please. news of Lena's death. A raven has told Rhaenyra that her son is dead. She was a fool to go alone. Oh, and what if Eamon had happened upon her? Then I would pity Eamon. Yes, we would fucking pity Eamon. Oh my god. I mean, I get it. I get it. He wants to be able to just sort of like get, get, get the, get his battle on, you know. But she needs to have a moment before waging this war, so she can actually mourn her child. Oh, poor an era, man. Ooh. 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 Ooh, you can't blame her on that. Can't blame her that on her. It is a command. Would that you were the king. <laughs> Look her. Oh, poor cow. By the blockade. The gullet is fast. We're not like to have the numbers to cover What's his name called? Is he called the Sea Snake again? I have had this commission for Prince Luceris. <sighs> I was very sorry to hear about your heir's death. It was the blackest of treacheries. <laughs> yes, it was. Dragon! A dragon? Is there a dragon that we know? <laughs> I like it that they actually wait till they get they get closer just so they can actually see 
which one it is. Like any sort of like vehicle. Like I see a vehicle in the distance. Let me wait till it gets closer. Where is it? The library. We must not interrupt this. Um. I'm. Am I remembering that? I'm afraid. The brother and sister are together. The rats. As in, literal rats, or we being uh, we being all because I know because <laughs> yeah, is she uh, is she talking about rats amongst them, but in human form, you know, not like you know. Not like Master Splinter, but more, you know, in like snitches and rats and people have to trust. Sneaky fuckers. Things like that. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, my Christ. I wonder who this is. It's him. It. Right. We uh, get out there. Like like I've said already, not the biggest fan of the greens. Him. This weaselly sack of shit. I hate the most, more than anyone. And I need him to perish. Good on him, you know, getting his thing. Interesting that he's sworn to protect two people now and each one of them he's been with, you know. But you know, he just likes to break uh, break the rules, I guess. Um, but yeah, good a bit, like, got him, like, sort of, like, you know, out here just sort of doing all that, but outside of that now, now he's worn a uniform, fuck this guy. <laughs> we cannot. Again. <laughs> but you know you're going to, right? Yeah. You can, s you're a weirdo, but you can smell your daughter on him. Our letters to the Vale and to the North continue to go unanswered. Cut. Yeah. Oh, well, the... there we go, guys. We got the first cunt. There we go. Uh, <laughs> if again you're new here, I if a show I tend to keep the C bomb out of things. Um, I use it all the time in real life, but I tend to keep it out because I know some people get a little bit weird with that word. But as soon as the show says it, I get to see it. Say it. So. This is a now a cunt-free reaction. No. That would mean that there is no the word cunt. Hold on. Cunt is now on the table. There we go. Done. Stormlands. My letters to Rhaenyra. Has there been any answer? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> right? Fuck no. Is the heir to the throne bothering you, Tyrant? Oh, don't be a shithead. Come on, don't let your child get away with... No, no, not in the least. Wouldn't that be fun, Jaehaerys? Should the Master of Coin be your royal steed? Ah, uh, <laughs> he's going to be one of these fucking kings, isn't he? Nero's blockade has placed King's Landing under strain, and those pressures will multiply quickly. Well, we should have just killed her when we had the chance. Regrettably, the opportunity <sighs> to has been lost. This fuckhead. And with it, the chance... If we are to break the Sea Snake's blockade, we will... Is Sea Snake. Sea Snake. Sea Snake. We do have need, Lord Dolphin Greyjoy. Amen. What is your business here? Here's this little... King summoned me. This is little slutty. <laughs> he just walks in like a little dick. He just owns the place. He's just got this little slutty walk. I don't know how to place it, but it's set, I'd describe it. It's just that. Um, a lot of people getting dropped in here, like as in names. We have Grey Choi. We've had um, so obviously the Starks at the start. We also had Barathe in there. So we're having a lot of people's like sort of house names just getting dropped in. Not saying like it's like ooh Easter eggs because they're part of the world and the law and it's, like it's going to happen. Just I just. Think it's, Kind of cool. Aemond is my... And Vagar is needed here to deter Rhaenyra from attacking in retribution for the death of her son. Look at you, don't give a shit! King Viserys must now favour patience and restraint. I send ravens by the hour <sighs> and more. This How kid needs to be killed quickly. Time. Oh, is this Clubfoot with his foot fetish? Is... Laris, that's his name. I'm a terrible handmaiden said that you were indisposed. Yeah, she was very much indisposed. Enjoy enjoying herself thoroughly. I am satisfied I have exposed all who betrayed our trust. And what of them? They no longer breathe our air. 
I mean, savages, but also Alison. What did you What did you expect he was going to say? Oh, they're just having have living a happy life somewhere. Imagine being so powerful that people wash you. I know she's going to do it herself now. That's fine. But that's this, they're shocked by the fact that she's doing it herself, by the way. So that means just leave, just leave me. I just find that crazy that the people have to, that got people <laughs> to bathe them. Crazy. You're going to erode some skin if you keep on doing that in the same spot. I mean, it would be terrifying as a little villager to have to see this. Oh, well done. Oh, is she trying to find any of his remains? From the fisherman. That's that's the wing of a dragon. Oh, sweet baby girl. Oh. <laughs> it's come over because it sense she's mourning. Morning with her. I shall make your flock of sheep whole. Is this is he actually nice? We already made a promise to all the crown lands. Perhaps if you just return his sheep, he came all this way. If you <laughs> you have to return all of them. I love Reservus as a as an actor. He's got such a powerful voice, you know? When he wants he's uh, very commanding. But have the crown's coin before we started work. It would bring great relief. Not just to me, but to all the smiths serving your cause. That seems quite reasonable, but they're going to have some sort of shitty reason behind it. You shall be paid, and paid well. Oh! My army cannot win a war without your weapon. Oh, here he comes. Look at him. Look at him! Our victory depends on the efforts of the small folk. You have my most sincere gratitude. Why is he turned back? I'll hear the next petition. Why is he turned back there? He such a deft touch with the small folk, just as your father did. Thank you, my lord. That's nice. I wonder if you have a moment for a quiet word. I mean, I, I want, I, I want the. I miss Paddy Constantine. <laughs> I miss him so much, but, um, yeah, I, I would love. That's the thing. He was like, he was honestly, him as king, as uh, the character of the king, uh, is that he was just so. It was just like the last light <laughs> of this shitty fucking kingdom. And it got extinguished way before they should have. And it's so sad. And look what's happened. I know, I know it had to happen for all this to happen. It's part of the story, whatever. I'm still sad. I miss Paddy. You controlled your father at the same way. Uh, I used the word controlled. A certain reputation as being pliable. That's not, that's not going to be good. <laughs> This little little finger fucking little foot bitch. How? Just whispering. Ugh. It's victory. And how would you define victory? Everyone dead. Rhaenyra bending the knee, and Egon sitting there enthroned in peace. That is okay. Sorry, that is the victory. Sorry, she would want. I know. Think of it. That is very correct. She doesn't want war. She doesn't want Rhaenyra dead. She doesn't want any of the kids. Like she just wanted her son to be king. Uh, because she believed it that her that's what well, yeah that's what Viserys, Viserys said you know but it's it, I'm not gonna get further into that because I'll just moan and think but realistically she needs to be shook and say and people said to her like this is the real world now this is what's going to happen people are going to die and hopefully her children. <laughs> Critical days since Viserys is passing. I haven't gone to plan. That's not my fault. It's been days, by the way. <laughs> my sons both see you. Egon is ever eager to prove himself, and Aemond is a shithead. Aemond is angry. Rhaenyra's and a shithead. Took his eye, was never punished. But he is fiercely loyal. He wishes to please. I just think he's a Egon bastard. He didn't really care. At least. But if you undermine my boys, both those boys will go deaf to it. I haven't seen it that way. Oh, yeah, that's well done. He's actually listening to her. Really the white world. 
Do you think I would wither in your absence? The white worm? I did not think you would flower a traitor. You speak of highborn dames. Hold on. And common dames. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember the white... I think I remember the white worm? Hold on. White worm. No. I can't remember white worm. I... <sighs> Actually, is the white worm... The woman that runs the brothel? Is it the brothel? Huh. I am common dame. How long have you been selling secrets to Otto Hightower? As long as he had gold to pay for them. Oh, oh, sounds like a brothel woman. Who sent you flee? It was purely transactional. I held no loyalty to him. That's good, I guess. No. I, I guess. Otto Hightower says nothing of value to you, Damon. We'll see about that. Were they to be married, or he what, or she was interested and he couldn't marry her, or wasn't let, or didn't want? I can't remember now. A matter of honor. Was it honor that made you stand by and watch as the high towers usurped the throne? Uh, you and your traitorous. Oh, maybe don't no. start turning on people that are loyal to you now. I'm sure to defend the whole of the royal family, but what will we to do when they turn against one another? It's true. It is that is fucking true when you put it like that. How is he spell how is he knows which one he has to choose? Or he's not supposed to choose. Oh, she's home. She's ready for war. Oh god, hopefully she's bloodthirsty. Did you find what you needed? Oh, We'll see. What's she going to do? Well, she's still numb by it all. I thought she would have been ready. I want him. Aemond Targaryen. Oh, specifically. Him. Specifically him. Is she thinking maybe if she gets him and no one else, they'll just end the war and give up? Oh, poor buddy. Lord Quick and Stark. Oh, buddy. He's promised 2,000 men. Oh, see these tears. I will not shed any for the greens. <laughs> no, that was uh, that was heartbreaking, man. That was just so, so sad. So simple, but sad. He's actually they actually getting to do a burial. Oh, this is so sad. This is so sad. Why am I heartbroken again? She's gonna light a candle for, for Luke. <sighs> right, let's go get Eamon. <laughs> Just sneaking up to the actual gate himself. Fuck the high towers. That's my boy. Oh, loyal to the what true, the one and only. The white worm said you're one of Egon's rat catchers. You must be busy. That castle positively crawls with them now. Rat catchers. Oh my god. I the white worm was dead. <laughs> Never dying. Um. What do you call it? Uh, so, so rat the rats. She is actually all about the rats that are actually people who are there, who are the spies, who are the ones that are loyal to uh, Rhaenyra uh, and her queendom. I know them better than the shape of my own cock. Uh, do, do most people know the this shape of their own friend. cock? You're to find and slay the Prince Aemon Targaryen. 
I feel I like silver hair in one eye. <laughs> you yeah, very easy. I don't think it's gonna be this easy. But I understand. She blames me for starting this war. After she plotted with my father's council to usurp his throne. <laughs> speaks with two tongues. Oh, he knows all about the tongues, mate. He knows about her tongue very well. And Rhaenyra is a cunning spider. Shut the fuck up! I hate you so much. I want to punch his face in. She holds love for our enemy. That makes her a fool. I guess not everyone grows up with a rotten heart like yourself. I only wish to serve my king and my house. I think you're serving. Firstly, serving cunt, but also uh, serving your own you gratuitous lust for blood. Realm, but you must keep a grip on your impulses. He's not going to. He's not going to. Not. This dog better survive. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Excuse me. We're already right up in here. My nephews or mother and grandsire mind me like some. They're just at, they're just bollocks talking <laughs> shit on on the Iron Throne. My brother. <laughs> it's annoying that I laughed at that. <laughs> dead. He needs to be dead. He needs to be dead immediately. Immediately. Scooby do this shit. I mean, look at all the secret passageways, secret doors. You love to see it. Who the fuck is she? Oh, what? The queen, she is. Over there. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna take your Harris. Take them both. The Just take them both, I guess. That one. The mother knows. We have to kill her. Which? I have a necklace. That's not it's of great value. what they asked. The Snow Sun. There's Sophie's choice in her. Which son do we kill? Which child we should we kill him and say? He's the other one. She's oh. not gonna give up the king's hair that easy. Oh my god! Oh He's got a point. No. It's neither of them. She's telling true. Oh my god, he knows. Am I about to just watch her? Watch this child get murdered. Oh, here. Oh, my God. I'm hearing it. Oh, they're chopping that kid's head off. They're chopping the shit off his head. Should I be supporting the blacks? <laughs> she should realistically say she shouted for help. I'm so tense. I'm so fucking tense. Oh my god! Helena. <laughs> yeah, they're at it. They're at it again. We shouldn't happen. Let it happen anymore. They killed the boy. Oh, they guess they got right. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god, what a way back into the show! We just hit a young child's head get chopped the fuck off! <laughs> oh! Oh, this is savage! I don't feel cool about supporting the blacks anymore! <laughs> I'll, I'll forgive him! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh! <sighs> You'll love to see it, <laughs> or hear it in this case. And that guys, my reaction to House of the Dragon Season 2, Episode 1. 
Well, well, <laughs> welcome back to Absolute Anarchy. Um, do you think that was Alison, the actress play Alison? Do you think that was her bum at the end? I don't know, it seems... Because we didn't get the one shot. So I'm thinking, I'm, I, this is not the thing to be taken away with straight away, but do you think that was her bum? Her, the actress actually doing that? Or do you think they just got a stunt double in to do that? Or just a double? Or an extra? I don't know. I just, I, I just... Because it then cut to them just in a different camera angle. So it's like, just something I thought at, at the end there. But I need to say these things to help get past the fact of what I just fucking experienced. <sighs> well... Both, this yeah, all's not forgiven. This is not cool. It eye for an eye, which is yeah, it, which is weird because you know Eamon hasn't got one. But you know you know what you know what the whole thing eye for an eye etc etc. Cetera, et cetera, but still, Jesus H Christ, like yeah, that was savage. That was. This is welcome, yeah. Welcome back to the show because it was the right. It was the right amount of politics and disgustingness. You know, it was. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Whew. Um. Yeah, I mean that was that was that was great. That was that that was. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna act like it was outstanding like as in like something that blows my tits off it, it was a great first episode back to then show how because we're left there with like oh look what look what Eamon did he is an absolute savage bastard and I'm here going team blacks all the way and then straight away not straight away but you know by the end of the episode she wanted Eamon that's what she wanted she didn't get they wanted a son for a son and look what happened? It's yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm a bit gobsmacked by all. I've got red eye. I'm not got pink eye. Don't make that a thing. But I've got red eye here from how stressed that made me. Gosh, it feels ages ago since the start of this episode. I'm gonna go through the notes because it was great. So having the opening with the, having back at Winterfell. With uh, with Starks, with uh, again how the how they were sent to the wall, um, willingly, um, one in ten men, um, regardless of like you know, whatever. It was just pot luck, well, bad luck, I guess. And I get, I get that they're like, oh no, it's an honor, and it's like, well, you're, well, because they're prisoner. Technically, when you go to the wall, you have been sent there to repent, and you're supposed to like basically be like a prison. Uh, and you don't not supposed to be doing doing certain doing certain things like go out gallivanting and getting drunk and getting whores and stuff like you're not supposed to, so it's not the best lifestyle. I'm not saying you know, I was about to say not saying whores are a good lifestyle. Uh, that, that that but you know, but it's 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 yeah. It, it, you know what I mean? Like the sort of freeness of all. So maybe but maybe if you're just going there willingly like this, they may be different. But I just I mean, they could call it honor all they want. I'd be raging. Um, again, Torrance Stark, again, great to be in Winterfell with the Starks and that music. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. But Torrance Stark, have I, I wouldn't have experienced them because of X amount of years uh, in the past from Game of Thrones, but has there been scenes or stories to do with Torrin where I'm, I could be like, oh, right, okay, cool. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do, do, do. Promise them the old fighters because they can't really give them much because you know it's it's winter is coming so they need to prepare for it you know, um. But yeah, but a great great opening thing to try and like to show them they're at play trying to get this war going again completely didn't make uh, make the fact that you know, that this is own this has happened at the exact same time that well not exact the exact same time because but we have to wait for the for the raven to come, but again at the same time this wasn't X amount of time in the future it was happening at the moment where they find out. That his brother has passed. Passed. Been moided. Um, yeah. Hold on a second. So yeah. Um, so again. Having having Matt Smith be just. Being Matt Smith is great. And I love his. I love. Uh, I absolutely adore Damon. 
as a character. Season one, yeah, just love him. And yeah. So I, 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 I just think about that moment where he's sort of like trying to, uh, trying to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, convince, um, what do you call it? The princess was a Rainer? Rainer? Uh, I think it's Princess Rainer? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. So anyway, so uh, so yeah, so um, it's like him, him, him trying to convince her um to ride out with him because you know that's what should be done, and and and, and I, I'm it's a command, and she's just there, literally so cool to be like, yeah, if you're a king, I would listen to you, but you're not king, so I'm gonna go rest. You're gonna chill, uh, uh. Oh, there's my uh. Hold on. Uh, no, it's not Rainer either. Sorry. Yeah. Do I give it a chill? I needed my dragon to rest. I'm going to rest. Uh, and rather than just go head straight into battle, she's like, we should, we need to be thinking about this better uh, rather than like what, what you're trying to do. So I, I'm glad she sort of kind of stood up to him to be like, yeah, this is, this is not cool. You know, um, it's Rainies, I believe. Rainies. Um, oh my God. I'm getting so many bloody messages. Oh, anyway. Yeah, so Rainey's yeah, having Rainey's um him him try and sort of pressure Rainey's and Rainey's been absolutely fucking cool. well, I feel bad saying queen because you know it's a sore subject for her. But yeah, being a queen and be like, No, no. And understand from a mother's point of view to give her time. Again, Damon and his ilk and a lot of men wouldn't comprehend that. Again, especially in this world, <laughs> you know. But again, she needs a time to be able to come to terms with what happened um the sea snake as well being indebted to uh, the random fella um i'm interested to see where that goes only got a little bit to do with them i don't know if there's much more to come for that but again the fact is that they're part of the blockade trying to stop things like what whilst things have been ha happening there's been motions to stop any further escalation from the other side so it's like a keep them at bay. So they did well to wait on her just to be able to do that. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's have a look here. Right, followed up by Alison. You know, again, enjoying a bit of fellatio from Kristen. It's, it's again, very hypocritical. I can't remember, were they, were they doing that in season one? I don't think they were, were they? Oh, I can't remember now. But... Either way, she's out here getting getting what she wants. So, and I'm getting he's getting what he wants, and they're, they're both consenting adults and so on and so forth. The fact is, she's there like it can't ever happen again. He's like, yeah, sure, he knows. But also, again, very hypocritical of both of them in the sense of you know what this all means. But you know what, whatevs. Uh, but yeah, it very. Yeah, for, bless her. She's she's out here now living her best life because the series is gone she no longer has to have him like sort of like grunting away on top of her um and she can go out there and just grab some guy's head and just be like <laughs> and he has to do it <laughs> but yeah but i just i just really don't i hate Kristen. i absolutely despise him as a character the actor probably is, is fantastic. Apparently, he, he got like people moan him death threats, and I was like, "Come on, guys! Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't, can't be letting people get death threats because of a character that they're there. It's, it's ridiculous." Anyway, um, Aegon at the war table again, showcasing why he's such a dickhead. Again, why he shouldn't be in charge. Why he he was not fit to be king, especially at such a young age he's not young but he is young you know because he's still stupid and dumb and doing silly things you know and you could see that he's just there rather than trying to think of how things to be done he's antagonizing people he's trying to get his child to be to get the master of coin to be his pony he's on the throne getting twatted with his friends he's just not fit for it but you've given a kid who liked to party and do get drunk and do whatever the fuck he wants all even more power than what he did, but what did before. And it's like, well, what do you expect? So, yeah. So, um, I do like the fact that then Alison, uh, and Otto had their little meeting. I mean, and he was, she was like, can't pretty much undermine me like that. We need to work together. And Otto going like, you're right. 
you're right. We need to sort of like, th- yeah, that is issue. I didn't see it in your way. I'll try not to do that. I was like, all right, okay, cool. We we got an understanding there. That's great, you know? Um. So, yeah, so I thought that was a great moment with them. Listen, Rhaenyra finding the remains. Sad, sad shit. I'm going to touch on this all together. Such a sad moment. It, it, it was such a, a fair moment. That I thought that was going to be it. Her then returning to them be like, because I'll just cover this all in one go. Her then to return into them be like, I want Eamon. That's it. Eamon. Nothing else. I want Eamon. And that was it. That sad little moment. It was a sad, was it like that moment where Damon comes up to us. Did you find what you need? And she, they had their heads together and she just sort of went to the de- table. Now I'm interested to see whether they have a more, a better understanding, I guess, of each other where, uh, uh, like, do, uh, do they, is it like, yeah, let's get down to business or is it something that she will eventually get off her chest because it could be taken as a, I'm still mourning to sort of like, get the fuck off me. I'm not happy with you right now, you know? Um. So yeah, but to have that and then follow up with, with Jason coming back. It, well, it is Jason, isn't it? I'm fairly, I'm fairly certain it is. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, just series, isn't it? I'm fairly certain it's just series. <laughs> uh, but they call him Jace, don't they? Yeah, they call him Jace. That's it, Jace. Um, because uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, Jace, Jace. Um, then coming in to his his mother. And that heartbreaking moment of having to try and still be prim and proper because that's how they're sort of brought up to then having that raw of emotion to try and to say the words, but being so broken up about your brother slash son passing away. And from from Renira's point of view, um, it's going to be heartbreaking because she's just lost her son and now she's now seen her her um her other son now just just feels such heartbreaking <laughs> shit, you know? Oh. My goodness. It, it It's... What a sad moment. Again, I miss... I, I love the show because it's got oh, so much money pumped into it. And it, the, 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 the CGI on the dragons looks amazing. Dragons look amazing in this one. The uh, locations where they set, the set, uh, the set itself, it's all done so well. But I... And... The dialogue is all that's great, but they when they have those moments of how they use the orchestra into playing the music, uh, like the non diegetic music, or is that hold on, is it diegetic? Diegetic is when it's in the scene. Don non diegetic is when it's anyway. My point is when they use the orchestras then to then um, just to, just the height in the scene. It's just yeah. It's great stuff. I love it. It, it. It's that moment there with the orchestra, the lights being done by the candles and just the raw emotion from the actors. It's, it was just a beautiful scene. Horrible, but beautiful. Um, so, yeah. So, let me get this up here. I skipped ahead on that all that there. Uh, Eamon, again, also being sort of like torn between being the jokester, being a silly, stupid bastard, then also wanting to be a a king for the small people, you know? I do believe him when he does that, and he's and begrudgingly that he he because he wants to be as like his father. He he wants to be a rebel, but they, other than Eamon, uh, sorry, other than other than what do you call it? Uh, sorry, Eamon, sorry. Um, I meant to say Aeg- I meant to say Aegon, King Aegon. Sorry, Aegon, uh, Aegon being wanted to be like his father because Eamon's done. We're done with him. He's 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 a goner. We lost him when he lost his eye. You know, he's a shithead. And he was born for evil, and he'll die evil, you know. Um, but Aegon, he looks like he wants. He has that. He has to live up to his father's legacy, and his father's legacy was just and kind, you know. Um, so he needs to live up. To that. So him trying to want to help the townsfolk, I truly believe that he does. But in this war, he has to be a bit more savage. And Otto had to be as right as hand of the king had to be savage and say the things and do the things that isn't he didn't want to, you know. That he probably wouldn't do normally. He has to, you know, to help the king realise so uh, but yeah I thought um, I, I do believe Aegon when he is uh, saying I, I, I want to be a person for the little people you know uh, I wrote down little foot equals little finger because you know that club foot fuck 
that club foot fuckhead. <laughs> I just he's just there whispering dis- uh, deception. I don't like these characters. I, I kind I liked Littlefinger. I did. I have a mate who adored Littlefinger. It was his favorite character. Whereas I hate that sort of Weasley character, you know. And that's what this little foot is, is that he's playing the Game of Thrones as did Littlefinger. And my mate says, that's what this is about. And I'm like, no, it's about dragons and boobies and willies, you know. <laughs> no, but it's about other things. It is about the Game of Thrones. My point is, is that I dislike him and his little foot or big foot, whichever foot it kind of foot is. Um, I've just decided it's a little foot, but it might be humongous. I can't remember. You might have a foot there or maybe it's maybe it's just a stu- I don't know. So let me know what his foot's like. Um, White Worm as well, being the one that came into, came into fray. And they'd be like, yep, yeah, no, I'll, uh, I only did it for the money. I'm basically just going like, yeah, I'm the, I'm, I poured myself out. Not sexually, it would seem, but uh, but uh, more so to do with for her services. And that's what this what I eventually was. He was able to then, to, uh, um, sorry, um, Damon was able to go, I'll pay for your services your freedom for being able to track uh, track down someone that might be able to get me in. Um, so I did uh, break the... Do, 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 that's fine. Right, we'll just now stick to the, what's happened at the end there. So uh, that moment there where we find out uh, what is Damon's going, actually goes there himself to find someone that is possibly loyal to him, to offer them money, to then be fuck the high towers, And then it's then... Finding someone that's desperate, knows places, giving them a sack full of fucking coins, and be like, "Yep, half layer once it's done." That whole build up of going through the streets, finding out the different rooms. That such so as I want to touch on real quick. Alison lighting a candle for Jace. A nice touch. It was a nice touch. Moving on, that whole moment of them going through slowly with the dog, with the rat, trying to set down the rats, trying to find exactly where they're. Uh, like trying to find where they're going to just then getting into touch with, like walking into the um, walking into the king and his merry men very very merrily drunk moving on into different route it, it, it built attention because they stayed in that moment rather than just go right let's come through here, and then they cut to them walking into the room <clears throat> they showed them walking up the different stairs showing them the travels that they go through going into different rooms having a struggle like oh we don't know, I don't know how to get upstairs well fucking oh I'm gonna kill you with that voice says We'll all kill you. That sort of thing. <laughs> that sort of thing. That sort of voice. Uh, so then nearly getting caught by the uh, the handmaid, I guess. Um, and then having that moment of actually finding someone of blood to to the get to uh, to uh, the high towers. Let's say, <clears throat> yeah, finding someone of blood to the high towers. And then what a tragic. Again, again. Now let's talk it for. What a tragic moment for the Queen to have to be dealt with that hand where it is a, oh, sugar, I'm fucked. For him to be like, we need to kill one of them. Pick which one. Make sure it's the son. And then, I, I'm, I guess good on them for literally only doing the one rather than just doing both and being done with it. I mean, realistically, they could have literally wiped out the entire airs, a bunch of airs there and just carried on going until someone was caught but uh, or killed, you know. But, yeah, that moment of her having to show, great from the actress to show her fear, her shock, but also because she is supposed to be um, not psychic, but she's she has a gift. Um, and that's why she talks like almost in prophecies. So... I'm going to assume the rats is why what she brought up was to do what was to come. Because uh, that's what they were here for, to get the rats, you know? Um, so, yeah, so... Yeah, for, for, but again, so she still had the moment like, no, but she didn't want to... It, it, it was great from the actress. She did fantastic there. And then that moment of the guy, the just the brute being like, no, we have to kill the other one. She would give us the right fair. But did she... And then the other one be like, no, I believe it is actually this one. Why does he know? Why does he believe? Does he did he see something in her eye, a twinkle, or I, I, the twinkle of truth in her eye, you know? Or did she do it because she did try to outplay them, or did she was she like going along with a prophecy that she thought she knew was coming anyway, or was she trying to you know 
just be like, yeah, no, I prefer, I prefer my door killed, kill the sun, please, <laughs> you know. But that moment of, I thought it was like a very cool grab them and let's go. But, but again, they kept the mention in the head, and I'm like, yeah, and it. That moment of them trying to grab him by the throat and then you hear the muffled screams and then the sound of the cutting. Oh, that is horrendous. That was disgust disgusting. The sound of going through the bone. Oh, not nice. Not nice at all. That's disgusting. But this is the show we all know and love and it wouldn't be Gamma Thrones without uh, children murdered. <laughs> eye for an eye, baby. But her then going in on Alicent uh, of all people, uh, all the rooms, going in on us and just to then find her on top of Kristen, just sort of like going to town on each other's bits uh, and just being like, they got the boy. And that's it. it. I mean... I mean, like, is it one of those ones where her walking in on them is that going to fuel something now in the next episode? Or if it's like a... I mean, could they... As I'm interested to see if, if that like kind of exposes what's going on between them there, you know? I'm interested to see. Um, oh, if it's just like a... just a, Oh, yeah, she was in an utter state of shock. She just walked to the nearest room. She knew someone was going to be in there. So, yeah. Um, yeah. What, an in, what, what a fucked up ending. But a great episode and a great welcome back, you know. I'm so happy with how that was and I can't wait for the next episode. Now, just to reiterate, if you are still here, next week's the next two weeks' episodes won't be uploaded due to the fact that I have me being away. But once I am back, uh, I'll up, I'll get them reacted and uh, released as soon as possible. So yeah, but overall, really enjoyed this episode. So if you liked the video, please like the video, comment down below. What do you think of this episode yourself? Was it a great introduction back? What didn't you like? What did you like? Did you like the whole baby's head came cut off? Uh, what did you, how were you with during Rhaenyra's scene with her her son, whether the dead body or when her son came back and they cried? Where what are you, team black or greens, etc.? Or has things changed, like, you know, with me, where you're like, maybe maybe blacks then as good as I thought they were you know um, but yeah but yeah so leave a comment down below let me know if you like these types of videos please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell get a notification every time I upload a bunch of other videos around here to do with me and other people I do uh, reactions to you know obviously this I also do reactions to Doctor Who I'm doing Shooty's new season by myself uh, I'm also doing uh, reactions uh, to Doctor Who with my little brother Charlie uh, we're on David Tennant's first season with Martha um, sorry, David Tennant's first season, no, first, second season, and he's with Martha. That's what I was meant to say. Uh, I also do uh, reactions to other stuff. Uh, for example, uh, Star Wars Rebels, uh, the Star Wars The Acolyte, uh, that's being released at the moment. Uh, the Boys season four. Uh, House, uh, the Rings of Power season uh, two, I'll be doing uh, reacting to when that comes out. And I also do reactions to Marvel stuff as well. So I do reactions to the. TV shows, I did most recently X-Men 97, and as part of the MCU, TV show-wise, the last one I've done was Echo. But I also did reactions to the films, uh, the Phase 1 to 3, the Infinity Saga. I did reactions to that when my mate Josh. So if anything that sounds like it takes you fancy, guys, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. But thank you again for watching, and I'll see you out there.